when we, and I, I have a couple of infrared cameras. This is a, awesome. a traditional infrared camera. Okay. Um, you know, big, rugged. Uh, actually, this is, this is a very modern industrial camera. Yeah. Um, when I say industrial, you know, the, uh, you know, I'm not concerned about dropping this on the floor. I can drop this on the concrete floor, pick it up, and continue working. Cool. Okay. Very nice, very rugged piece of equipment. If we were going to go out and do an infrared examination in the year 1995, which okay. isn't very long ago, mm -hmm. uh, we would have spent all day today getting our equipment ready and preparing to go out because wow. the infrared camera required liquid nitrogen for cooling, required a lot of batteries. The, uh, the, the, the equipment to do an infrared inspection, you would take a, a whole day to prepare. You know, where today, you know, you've got a, an instrument that you just pick up and go. You know, replaceable batteries, uh, rechargeable batteries, you know, it's uh, ready to go almost That's cool. all the time. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, it's, it's great. You want to take a picture of me? Let's take Do a it? picture of all you. Right. Okay. So, oh, you look great. But I'm not getting your fingers, I'm just getting your face. Okay. okay? And, it and this has a focusing thing? Yeah. Whoa. Focusing lens, exactly cool. like this does. That's right. And also will work with Linux. It works on Linux? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, you've got a lot of capabilities. The way you get the price down on it is that there's no display, there's no controls, there's no okay. handle. Okay. You know, everything is in your phone or in your computer. Hmm. Yeah, where, you know, so you can this. plug this into a tablet yeah. and make it an infrared camera. Absolutely. You can plug it in your phone. Well, you, you, you have camera. Microsoft Surface there. We can we could uh, take a, a USB cable okay. and we could plug this camera directly into your surface. Into the surface. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> now the, these advances. And they, you're yeah. saying they have the same capabilities. These yeah. two. These. These two cameras both have a 300, uh, 360 by 240 pixel detector, okay. and they both have the same thermal sensitivity of about 50 millikelvin. So technically, these two cameras perform exactly the same. Wow. It's amazing. That's crazy. Yeah. And then does it have to do with the uh, with the resolution of your device, the screen that you're looking at? Uh, no, that, that's... What uh, if it's an old computer from 90s? Well, okay, you bring up another really interesting point. Because when you save an image with the infrared camera, uh -huh. it's not really an image. It's a data file. What you're, okay. what you're saving is a discrete value associated with each pixel. Mm. The image that you see, see is generated by the computer. computer. So it's a function of how good your screen is, the that, resolution. Yeah. That's, that's exactly mm. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that's very interesting about, about all of this is that you know, we have a tremendous, tremendously advancing technology in drones today, UAVs. Interesting, yeah. And you know, when you have a, a big heavy camera like this, you know, that's that's not so uh, adaptable to to drones. Hmm. But a camera like, like this, this, yes, which is very low power, very high performance, yeah, you know, you can easily adapt to uh, uh, to UAVs.